Hi! <laughs> My name is Tatiana. I'm from Falls Church, Virginia, and I'm 21 years old. Before I go any further, there's someone special I want you to meet. Thank you, Tati. Um, my name is Joey Santolini. I am from Falls Church, Virginia, and I'm 21 years old. Um, I work as a hairstylist and a makeup artist by day. The character Tatiana isn't really a character, per se. It's just me, another side of who I am. I, uh, I grew up in Arlington, which is like 10 minutes from Falls Church, so I've always stayed in the same place. Um, I would love to get out of Virginia. <laughs> it's fun. DC's fun because DC is like 10 minutes away, but it's a little one note and I like to go somewhere bigger. Growing up, um, my mom raised me by herself. It was a little off and on with her. Either we were really good together or we were really bad together. When I was 18, I got kicked out of my house and my grandmother took me in. I've been living with them for a while. Um, Relationship-wise, I'm single. I've always been single. I've never had a boyfriend before, um, I've had sex, but <laughs> I've never had a boyfriend, but doesn't really, like at this point in my life, I'm not concentrated on, you know, trying to find a man, I'm trying to better myself and pr propel myself forward rather than having someone tag along with me, so I'm pretty happy being single and being moi, so yeah, that's the whole relationship thing. So, back to you, Tati. Thanks. All right, a little bit about me. I um, started doing drag, ooh, like seven years ago. I was 14 years old. I was obsessed with makeup and hair when I was younger, so naturally I put it all together on myself. And the first time I walked out of the house in drag, I think it was after, somewhere after eighth grade. So um, I've been doing it for a while. I've only been performing though for about two years. And it's been going great. I've gotten great responses. I have you know, great places to go and perform. Everyone seems to enjoy it, and so I enjoy it. I love putting together the whole aspect of the performance, from the outfits, to the makeup, to the hair, to everything. So that's why I love it. Um, drag, to me, isn't just putting on girls' clothes and lip-syncing other people's songs. It's completely me. The part of me, Tatiana, is me. It's another aspect of who I am as a person. I don't think I could ever stop doing it. Like, if someone told me tomorrow that I couldn't do drag anymore, I'd be like, well, that's over with. Like, no. I, th there's no, none of that. It has to be me being in drag. Like, I think about it all the time. So, it's a true passion of mine. Um, there's nothing else I want to do other than drag. And I'm good at it. So. What inspires me is beautiful things, beautiful people, and music. I'm extremely inspired by, influenced by Britney Spears. I think the way that she moves and her sex appeal and all of her clothes and outfits just all works together really, really well. Um, pop music, anything pop I enjoy. Uh, anything I can dance to really gets me going. Me as a person, I think I'm bubbly. At first I'm a little shy, I'll admit it, I'm kind of shy. But once you get to know me, I'm too much. I'm too much for a lot of people. So I think that's okay though. Um, I'm bubbly, I'm craft, I kind of just say what's on my mind and that's it and I don't hold much back. Um, I'm not a rude person, I'm not mean, I'm spirited, I just know what's right and what's wrong and I'll let you know if you're right or if you're wrong, so it's kind of me in a nutshell. Um, <laughs> I think I'm friendly, I get along with the majority of people. If I don't get along with you, chances are a lot of other people don't get along with you, so that's just kind of me. Since I started at 14 as a drag queen, I faced a lot of hardships. I mean, growing up as a teen drag queen, it's not necessarily the easiest thing. I've been chased out of malls before. I've had, you know, people threaten me. Whoopity do. Um, <laughs> I, and another, like, thing that was a problem when I was younger was my mom. She wasn't for it. And she would, every chance she got, she would throw away all my girl clothes, all my wigs. Um, she did, just wasn't something that she understood at the time. Now, our relationship is so much different, and now she's on board with the whole drag thing, and she actually voted for me last time, so that's good. I, I overcame that obstacle. But um, Tatiana, as a performer, I go more sexy. I think I'm performing sexy. I cannot, 
I've seen some drag queens just walk around the stage and this thing kind of wiggle their hands in the air. That's not me. That's not me at all. I have to run around. I have to shake it. I have to, you know, drop it like it's hot. You know, get in with the crowd. I have to move. If I leave the stage and I'm not sweaty, I don't feel like I've done a good job. Because how are they, uh, how is everyone else supposed to enjoy it when it doesn't really look like you're enjoying it? So that's the way I perform and I wouldn't perform any other way. Okay, now let me show you my wardrobe. Okay, these are some of my favorite things in my wardrobe. I know they look worn and torn, but these are my little baby doll slippers. Anything I'm doing where I don't feel like wearing heels, like if I'm going out to 7-Eleven or something, these bad boys. They're very Amy Winehouse, but they're super fucking comfortable. So, have these. These are my new faves. Um, I think they're fierce, like no one's business. These are... I don't even know who these are by. I just saw them on eBay, and I fell in love. And so, I ordered them. They're silver and pink and teal, and they have a kick-ass heel to them. So, these are some of my favorite shoes. Let's see what other stuff I'm trying to show you. Oh, monokinis. I love monokinis. I think they make the body look really curvy. I have a silver one. Um... I think I have a pink and black one, too. Here we go. Yeah, I got a nice little pink and black one. Um, some dresses. Some of my favorite dresses. Let's see if I can hold this up and you'll be able to see it. Here you go. Halter in the top. I just like the, the pattern on it. You probably can't see it, but I love the draping in this one. Oh, it's getting tangled. <laughs> well, there's <laughs> that one. This look is my glamorous look. Obviously, I have a thing for purple. So, purple dress. I wanted to keep it very simple with all the jewelry and the hair. So, I just did simple silver bangle, silver chandelier earrings, silver heels, and a little Rihanna looking bob. The rompa looks fabulous. So, I love this dress. This outfit is something I would perform in, usually. Um, I like to have a prop, like sunglasses or something, take them off, throw them on the stage because they're super cheap. Um, got the pleather legging twing on. I like them because they're shiny. Shoes to match. Um, I like the look of sleeves, but you can't move in them. So I like to wear these detachable sleeves. Okay, this is my day look. Um, simple halter, some sparkle, flashy zebra. I love the print. Um, my favorite pair of jeans and my favorite pair of boots. Have the hair and, um, oh, and the bamboo earrings. Chola! I love these. I think they're really cute. I wear them almost with everything. So, this is the daytime.
Alright, in closing, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking the time to watch the video. Um, I work really hard. I really, really, really would love, need to be on this show. I need to show everyone what I've got. I need to prove to you guys what I've got. And I promise you I won't let you down. I, I promise. This is something that's so in me. I've got to show it to the world. And just thank you for the opportunity. Um, just know that if I don't get chosen this time, I'm going to try again next season. And the season after that. And the, and the season after that. And you're eventually going to get tired of seeing my face. So it's in your best interest just to get it over with now and put me on the show. Okay? Thank you so much. And amen. All right? Mwah.